So, out here at uh, Coney Island, my amazing cameraman, photographer, woman, lady, Amanda. Hey. How do you yourself, Amanda? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I've been trying to be somewhat of a denim aficionado for the past year and a half or so. Um, I've got on my EPC Petite Standard jeans. Petite Blue Standard, actually. Um, and I'm out here for that first wash ever. I'm going to be following the Sea water recipe, if you can zoom in there and see that what it says. Basically it says, let your jeans get dirty as long as possible and then go swimming in the ocean. So we're here at Coney Island, beautiful Atlantic Ocean. And I'm about to go swimming. You ready? No, uh, these jeans are about 14 months old. I'm not one of those everyday wear your jeans every single day kind of guys. I just can't do that, it's mad nasty in my opinion, but you know, features on. <laughs> I wear these at least probably three times a week, sometimes four, up to five at the very most, but usually no more than about three. And it's got a couple of fades and I've got a little bit of damage, but at the same time, you know, the jeans supposed to be lived in. I've been living in these for the past year, so about to get them washed. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> I told you. May 29th? 28th. The weather really hasn't gotten, gotten warm yet in New York City. Still feels like early to mid spring. I'm gonna go out about waist deep so I can get the home. Yeah, I'll be right here. <laughs> oh, you got it. 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 Coat your jeans in this fresh sand to kind of like get out all the bacteria and blah blah blah. It kind of helps the cleaning process. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna roll around. Say, you read it. Away. You want to make sure that you get into the uh, little honeycomb crevice, as they call it, behind the knee. That's kind of like your sweet spot of your customization of your jeans process. So definitely want to get up in there, down around the legs. Make sure you get it on both sides. You want to make sure you get your whiskers as well up here in the front. Very important. Just take a little bath and sand. I know it looks crazy, but <laughs> it's gonna get some dope results. And I mean, with any art project, you gotta like follow the steps and you really gotta 
make it the way you want it, I guess. And I want these to come out really well, so. Trying to get into it. Uh, Coming in close so you can take a look at the jeans right now. They still got a little bit of salt on them, still got a little bit of sand. But we're gonna do two more rent cycles, so basically that's it. Rinse, get in the sand, rub the sand all around, go into the water, rinse, repeat the process two or three times every time you want to do it. That's it. This is the last step of the process. Just uh, dip in that fresh water, not salt water, and rinse them off. Get all the salt out, get everything out, and just all the and everything out. So you don't really want any of those all the way All right, and this is the final result of the jeans after the uh, salt water, sea water recipe. Um, as you can see, I actually did take the time to hang them out in the sun, direct sunlight, let them dry for about, I don't know, maybe six to eight hours or so. And this is the result. Uh, if you want to come in close, you can see a nice, uh, more defined whiskering area along the front of the pants. Take it back out a little bit, I'll turn it around to the back. You can also see, uh, that's where the damage was, of course, that's still there. More defined, but gives a lot more character, in my opinion. The sweet spot, the honeycomb here in the back of the knee area. It's also a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit of, um, fraying occurring right there as well, too. That's just from all the rubbing. That'll be fine. Same thing on this side, full whisker, full honeycomb, fraying. Then back to the front, take a look at the uh, front of the knee area. The front of the knee has its own little uh, whiskering action going on as well. And you can see also where the kneecap area is, where it's starting to lighten up. Same thing on both sides. And yeah, back pockets again. Yeah, so um, after the wash cycle, I feel like they came out really well. I like the character that the jeans are taking it on. And I mean, maybe in another three or four months. Not so long this time, I'm gonna give them another wash. Probably be more of like one of the standard or the extremist recipe washes, but yeah, first wash, salt water, came out well. I like the character. They're not too stiff also, it's another good thing about them, so yeah. APC, the TV standard at the saltwater washer.